This Italian property not only has views of the Maia Mountains and the Adriatic Sea, but part of it is built inside an ancient tower in this beautiful hilltop town. With a wraparound veranda, you can totally pretend to be a king or queen over your little piece of Italy. It's got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's just over 1,700 square feet, not including the attic or basement, which I'll show you later. And the kicker, it's priced under $100,000 US. Keep watching to get all the details. If we haven't met, I'm Tommy from TravelTiremet.com. If you love cheap properties in Italy or France, you should join us. Sign up for free at TravelTiremet.com. This property is located in the hilltop town of Paglietta, which is in the Abruzzo region of Italy. Abruzzo is on the east coast of Italy, directly across from Rome. The interior of Abruzzo is quite mountainous. Paglietta is built along this ridge line, and it's only about 10 or 15 minutes to the coast. There are almost two dozen beaches very nearby, some as close as 10 or 15 minutes and others around 30 or 45 minutes. You can get to or from Rome in just about two and a half hours, and I have heard this is an absolutely stunning drive through the mountains and valleys of central Italy. There's no train station in Paglietta, seeing as it's on the top of a hill, but the closest regional train station is about 13 minutes away. There are several ski resorts nearby, and the closest one is about an hour and 20 minutes away. And beautiful Lake Bamba is just about 45 minutes away by car. Now let's zoom in and take a look at the town itself. I mentioned that Paglietta is built along this ridge line and I'm always curious what it looks like from a distance. So let me turn on Google Street View and let's jump down and have a look. So I'm in the valley just north of Paglietta and I believe here in the clouds in the distance, it's hard to see, those are the Maia Mountains where that ski resort is. If I turn around to the left here, you can see Paglietta is actually up here on the top of the ridge line. And this property is right here in this historic district. I've turned on the satellite view now to just to give you a different perspective. And you can see it's a very kind of long town along the ridge line here. As I zoom in, you can see there are, looks like maybe some wineries. And I see at least a couple of restaurants. Let me go a little closer. And you see this kind of round area here. This is where the property is located. This is the oldest part of the town. Another thing I can see from this view is there are bus stops. There's no garage with this property. That is one thing. I will show you where a free parking lot is very close. You could probably use the buses to get around the town itself if you wanted to stay local. I'm going to zoom in a little more and I'm going to show you where the property is from the top aerial view. You can see the kind of rounded little turret. This is the part of the property you saw at the beginning of the video. And the property actually extends up here and includes an outdoor patio. Again, we'll get to all these pictures when we look at the actual property listing in a minute. But first, I just want to get on Google Street View again and show you a couple of really cool spots for views and also a bar that's very close by. All right, I have Street View on. First, I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side and take a look. So this is looking uh, west back towards the Maia Mountains. You can see in the distance there. And you have this valley with some, uh, looks like an industrial area too. So like down here is where I was when I was looking up at the town from, from below. Another thing I'll point out from the aerial view is you can see on the right hand side here, a decent sized free parking lot. Now I'm going to click down right next to the property. And you can see that is it right here. So it is this tower. I think it's the top floor, this second floor. And I'm not sure the, there is a basement mentioned in the property listing, but I don't know if it's actually inside of this or if it's below the other part of the property that we'll see in a second. Let me just walk up a little closer. So you can see this beautiful wraparound veranda on the top floor. This other floor has a smaller veranda, but it's extremely picturesque. It does look like there are some cosmetic things you could do to the outside, clean it up, maybe repaint in some areas. But I mean, the place has been here for I don't know how long. It's not like it's going anywhere. All right, a couple other cool things that are very close by. Literally next door on the downstairs, 
you can see there's a fruit and vegetable stand, like fresh fruits and vegetables. And if you turn this way, you see the symbol right here? The Bim Bum Bar is literally within probably, I don't know, 100 feet of the property. I'll show you where the main entrance is in a second, but again, look how close that property is. And then when I turn to the right here, you have this nice little outdoor seating area. You could come out here maybe for your coffee in the morning or a nice glass of wine in the evening. I'm also going to walk out in the piazza here and just show you a couple other things. So there's like a public area here. The Adriatic Sea is in the distance. You can't see it from this picture, but that parking lot that I showed you, you literally just go down the stairs directly ahead of, of where we're looking right now. If I look to the right, um, there are, it looks like shops and at least one restaurant down this road. It looks like maybe there's another bar over here on the corner. And on the left, again, a couple more shops and some restaurants. You know, again, it stretches along this ridge line. You can see it's just a quintessential Italian village. Beautiful streets. You can explore little alleyways. Look at this beautiful tower. This is part of a church that is literally across the courtyard from the property. In fact, the entrance to the property, what I would, I guess, call the front door, is right through this archway. So imagine you're entertaining people and they come to visit you and you're like, oh yeah, park your car, walk up the stairs, and then you're going to go through the archway under the beautiful Italian tower. I mean, come on. So now let's walk up and go through the tower if I can get Google Maps to cooperate. There we go. All right, so let me just turn around. Yep, so we just walked through the archway and the property is actually right over here on the corner. I'll, I'll show you, you'll be able to see it better in a second. And this is the old church right across from where the property is. Because it's in this courtyard too, you get a little bit of a sense of privacy. All right, now I'm just gonna step up one more click. And then when I turn to the left here, this is the property right here. So it is, I don't have a floor plan, so forgive me. I believe this is the front door. You get this floor of this building, this floor, and they actually extend further. You just can't see it because this building's in a way. Um, you also get, this is the patio I was talking about. So there's a nice open patio where you can put table and chairs and umbrella, nice spot to sit out in the evenings. And then it goes back. So on the other side of this building is where that tower is that we saw at the beginning. So from here, it may be hard to tell, but right here, there's an actual alleyway. You can see got like the stripes on the tiles that takes you out to where that view is. I showed you of the Maya mountains in the distance and to the right here, obviously is another little alleyway. Now we're in the alleyway that runs right in front of the property. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So you can see here is that upstairs patio area that I showed you. And I believe this is the front door. Um, I think the basement is this part down here on the right. Um, anyway, it's hard to see from this angle, but it's definitely this floor and this floor. And then of course they extend out to the right there to where the uh, rounded like turret section is. And you see the beautiful uh, church tower there with the clock on it. One thing I'm going to do is turn around and go down this alley about a hundred more feet and show you something that I just found that is really neat. All right. So we're just a little ways down that same alley and you can kind of see the property um, in the distance here. But as I was cruising around, I noticed this looks like a menu possibly on the wall. I can't tell for sure, obviously. But then when I turn to the right in this alleyway, I noticed there's this like outdoor seating area. It, I mean, to me, it looks like it's clearly for a restaurant or maybe a bar. And how cool is that, that you have not only that Bim Bum bar that we saw that is out on the uh, piazza near the property, but inside the um, archway, you could walk down and maybe have a glass of wine or dinner here in the evenings. Now let's head over to the property listing and I'm going to show you all of the pictures that are available. By the way, this property is being offered by Monia over at Abruzzo Rural Property. 
I've emailed with her a few times and she's very responsive. So if you have further questions about this property, get in touch with her. I will put her contact information down in the description. So here's the property again from the outside showing us the wraparound veranda and then the smaller veranda on the lower floor. Here's just another angle of that turret kind of section of the property. This picture is from the small alleyway in front of the property, like inside the courtyard area. Looking up, you can see these pretty green shutters. Here we are on the upstairs balcony right across from the church. And this structure in the property listing, it says you can have the owner remove this. It's like an extra storage space that was built. I certainly would want to have more area on the patio to put maybe a table and chairs, uh, a nice umbrella if it's hot and sunny. And here's the view from that patio, again, looking across to the church. Even though it doesn't have a great view, it is nice to have a little outdoor area, and it certainly is private. Just another angle from the back corner, one more of the church, and of course to the right is where the archway where we walked through earlier was. So inside this property, you will notice that pretty much all of the rooms have these beautiful arched ceilings. And I know from watching other property videos in Italy that you can hire someone to remove the outer covering and it often reveals a beautiful brickwork or sometimes stonework that makes it look very rustic. I don't know if the place is offered furnished, but clearly you'd want to upgrade the or update the furniture and furnishings, except maybe the Mona Lisa that's actually hanging in this apartment. The furnishings and decor are very typical of these older Italian properties. This is a decent sized room. Without a floor plan, it's hard to tell where it is in relation to the other rooms that we'll see though. I'm honestly not sure where the doorway at the bottom of these stairs is to get up to the apartment. I don't remember seeing it on the outside. Wherever that door is, when you get to the top of the stairs, the kitchen is to your right or our left when we're looking at this picture. Here's another gorgeous view from maybe the window in the kitchen of the snow covered Maya mountains. And if you look carefully, you can actually see in the hills in the distance, these little towns are everywhere. Abruzzo is just a beautiful region. This is in the kitchen looking back towards that doorway where at the top of the stairs was. You can see even the kitchen has the vaulted ceilings, which is very nice. Again, it's livable, but everything I would probably want to upgrade over time. You see the stove and range there in the distance on the left. And on the right, the refrigerator is actually inside that thing that just looks like um, some drawers. There's a little closer shot of it. Here is one bathroom. And while it certainly could use some upgrades as far as the tile and colors, it looks very clean and usable. I don't think there's anything you'd have to do to move right in. And here's another view from outside the bathroom. Here we are at the top of the stairs. And again, the kitchen was on the right here. And this is looking into, I think, that big main room we saw at the beginning that had the Mona Lisa in the corner. I really can't tell where this hallway is within the property, except this looks like a substantial door. So maybe this is the door that was on the church side of the property. Now here we're getting into the cool section. This again is in the back, that rounded turret section. And this is the master bedroom. So this is the upstairs room that has the like full veranda. Looks like quite a good size room. It looks to have a queen size bed and then this giant wardrobe. And here's that hallway leading into the master bedroom, which we'll check out. We'll go out in the hallway in just a second. The view from the veranda. And I would imagine on a clear day, you would be able to see the Adriatic out here to the left. I'm pretty sure I would change the pink to some other color. But again, with these ceilings, you might be able to get somebody to uncover and you might be able to see what is underneath. Here's that hallway right outside the master bedroom. And you'll notice it does have the vaulted ceilings, but clearly they have built in a wall after the fact to create an extra bedroom here. I love that there are just these random view pictures in the property listing. It's just gorgeous. So behind that wall that I just showed that was built, um, is this little twin room. Depending on what you wanted to do, if you bought this property, I'm sure you could remove that wall and make this into maybe a large living room space. Just another view of that wall. And so that's the master bedroom and then that veranda to the left. And you can see it's the wall is open at the top. This room, I believe, is downstairs and it looks like it could be a bedroom, but I, I think they're just using it for storage at this point. It has these gorgeous old tiles that I'm sure if you polish them would just be amazing. The property listing does say that the roof is in good shape, but I do notice it looks like maybe some water spots over here. 
So you would definitely want to check and do your due diligence before you purchase, maybe get a survey of the place. Again, I'm not sure exactly what they're using this for other than storage. And I'm not sure exactly where this door goes, but I wonder if you could build like a ensuite bathroom into this part and almost have it as a separate apartment. Here is the attic, which I mentioned earlier. The basement, if you'll remember when we were outside the property, I think was that lower section where it was like a, a white door. The livable space of the property is 1700 square feet in the listing, but the basement and the attic add an additional 90 square meters, which is about a thousand square feet extra. Let's just say there should be plenty of room for storage. This picture is from up on the patio level, I believe. And in the property listing, this, I believe we're inside the storage little building that was added on. So I think pretty much everything in this picture could be removed to open up that patio and also bring a lot more light to the doorway here. And here's a shot looking back down that alleyway from the patio, again, with the beautiful snow covered mountains in the distance. The property listing does mention that this place has not only air conditioning, but also heat, central heat, which is sometimes rare in these older properties. There are literally hundreds of gorgeous properties all over Italy that I would love to profile in other videos. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Don't forget there are fees, taxes, rules, and regulations you need to understand before you purchase a property in Italy. I'm happy to share that information with you, but only if you're on my email list. So head over to traveltirement.com and join for free. There's a $30,000 property that I profile filed in another video that's only a couple of regions away from this property. You are not going to believe it. And if you want to watch the video, it's right over there.